Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a really fun video. At least I feel like it's gonna be really fun. When I came up with this video idea, I was thinking about the thing that I would like to see from people. I definitely consider myself to be a little bit nosy when it comes to what other people are wearing or using. And I was thinking, I would love to know what lip products people carry in their purse because if something makes it into somebody's purse, it's gotta be good, you know? So that was the thought process behind this video. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my personal favorite lip products that live in my purse. These are the things that always go missing. I always have to take them out of my bags before filming if I'm gonna use them. They are all so foolproof in my opinion. And it's funny because as I'm seeing all these products lined up in front of me, there's a lot of similarities as far as color goes and also formula. And I've realized that it's because when something makes it to my purse, I usually want something that I can wear whether I have a full glam look on or whether I have a no makeup makeup look on or no makeup at all. I need something that I can just slap on my lips. It's gonna be full foolproof, hydrating, a flattering color, a flattering formula that's gonna wear off well. And so those are the products that I have in front of me right now. You guys, I am definitely a lip junkie and don't get me wrong, if I have a glam look on and I'm wearing a specific lip liner or lipstick, I usually take those specific things in whatever bag I'm taking with me. So I'm not talking about that kind of a situation. This is honestly the stuff that I cannot get enough of that literally stays in my bag in case of any lip emergency, you know? I don't carry all of these at once. They're usually scattered between all of my purses, but point is, they're like my favorite lip products ever. So the first ones that I thought of when I was planning this video is this right here. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I cannot get enough of them. I know I've talked about this so many times on my channel. I'm actually wearing the grapefruit right here. This does have a little bit of a pink tint to it. Not too much, but it's just the best nourishing glowy lip balm. It looks like a gloss, but it hydrates like a lip balm and it feels like a lip balm, which I feel like is really important. There are certain situations where I feel like I can go for a gloss and there's some where I just don't want to even worry about a sticky formula and that's when I reach for these. I also tend to have the pear flavor in my purse as well so I wanted to talk about those first. Definitely worth every penny. Definitely something that I will continue to repurchase over and over again. There's a certain feeling with this. I love the sense of them. It's just a whole vibe and I love it so much. So the Laneige Lip Glowy Balms definitely have been living in my purses for a long, long time. So even though a lot of these are gonna look kind of similar on the lips, I thought I would swatch them for you on the lips so you can get a good idea of what it's gonna look like. The next product is something that's a little bit more of a glam kind of a product, but it definitely stays in my purse and it would work for an everyday makeup look if you wanted to use it for that. This is one of my favorite lip products. This is from Milani. This is the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade Champagne. So this is amazing for when I want just juicy looking lips. Again, this is something that I would reach for if I was wearing a little bit more makeup, honestly, because it does have a little bit more of a pigment to it. It kind of mutes the lips in the best way and it plumps them too. This also layers beautifully on top of any nude lipstick. I love to layer this on other products, but you could also wear it by itself and it's gonna give you a nice, kind of like a milky pink color. I know that's kind of a weird way to describe this, but that's honestly how I would describe it. The formula is so, so nice on this. You get a little bit of that tingling, plumping sensation, but it's not overpowering or painful in any way. It just feels refreshing and it feels like minty. So it's a good pick me up product as well. So I wanted to share that one with you guys. Next up, I'm obsessed with these NARS Afterglow Lip Balms. I would say the one that I usually use the most is the shade Fastlane. This is truly one of the most amazing tinted lip balms because you can just kind of do one layer if you want to just quickly get a little hydration on there or you can build it up and it almost looks like a lipstick, but it's obviously more hydrating hydrating, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's a balm, so it's not gonna be sticky either. Here's a closer look of what this looks like, and then here it is on my lips. I am so obsessed with these, you guys. Like I said before, I own all of the colors. I rotate between colors, but I wanted to try to choose just one in each formula, just to try not to overwhelm you in case you haven't tried any of these. I wanted to give you my top color recommendation, just to give you a place to start, and then if you fall in love with a specific formula, you can always go pick up more colors. This is so good, you guys. I love this product so much. Okay, this next product is definitely one that I would wear if my hair was pulled back. Sometimes I even love to wear it if I have like a baseball cap on. There's something about a no makeup makeup look with a baseball cap and your hair pulled back
black and then like an intense gloss on the lips. I don't know why, I just love that. This is the Glossier Lip Gloss. There is nothing glossier than this. I will show you. It layers on top of your natural lip color so beautifully and it kind of like enhances your natural lip color. It does have like a slight pink tint to it, but not enough to do anything crazy. But oh my goodness, you are going to have the juiciest, glossiest lips with this. This definitely does have a little bit more of a sticky formula, which is why I prefer to wear it with my hair back just in case. But look at that. I mean, there's just certain situations where you need the Glossier lip gloss. It's a certain vibe. It lives in my bag because of that. And it really is a nice hydrating formula. I find that it wears off my lips well as well. All of these formulas do, which is why I think I gravitate toward them all so much. But yeah, doesn't that like look so beautiful? It's a great way to attract attention to the lips and kind of enhance them without um, wearing a bold lip color. You know, it's a good way to just make them look so healthy. And yeah, I'm obsessed with this if you can't tell. Okay, so this next formula, I do have two shades to share with you because they both live in my purse this same and I usually carry them both with me everywhere just because they're a little bit different in shade so I will swatch both for you. I've talked about these a lot recently. They are the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Glosses. The two shades that I love the most are Sweet Talk and New Romantic. Sweet Talk is a little bit more of a light peach so I'll show you that one first. Again, another foolproof formula that I love. These also layer on top of lipsticks really well. So a lot of times if I'm wearing a lipstick, but say I don't wanna take it with me, or if I'm not gonna be wearing it off, like if I'm not gonna be eating something, I won't worry about bringing the lip color I'm wearing if it's like a nude shade, and I'll just apply this over top of whatever I'm wearing if it needs a little bit of a refresh and it works well every time. So here's that more peachy shade. Again, this is gonna be something that's hydrating, not sticky, but gives a nice glossy effect. This is Sweet Talk. I do feel like I get more use out of this shade, New Romantic. So if I had to recommend just one to try first, it would be this shade. This one's a little bit more mauve and it matches my actual lip color really, really well. So it's just like a your lips but better kind of a shade for me. Yep, I love this one so much. This is such a beautiful color. This formula is incredible, you guys. Like one of the best lip products I have ever, ever used. I know I keep talking about it a ton. It's worth every penny in my opinion if you are into these types of lip products products, which I feel like most people are. It's a very foolproof kind of a thing where you can wear it as an everyday product or like I said before, layer it on top of another lipstick for more of a glam look. So I get so much use out of these, you guys. It's not even funny. I cannot stop using them. All right, next up we have one from ColourPop. This is the So Juicy Plumping Gloss in the shade Roundabout. And the thing I love about this is it's gonna give you that same plumping tingly effect that the Milani gloss gives, but in the best way. This is definitely one that I would say try to wear your hair back with it because if it's a windy day it is a little bit more of a sticky gloss although I don't find it unbearably sticky it's just a nice kind of a stick <laughs> if that makes sense but I love this color it just kind of gives a your lips but a little lighter look to my lip color which I really love again the formula makes me feel like I have a little bit of a refresh since it has that minty kind of a sensation to it so it's just an all-around really nice gloss there's certain occasions or certain days where I want a little bit of like a muted color and that's what I reach for when I'm looking for that kind of an effect. It's just so good. It's one of my favorite everyday glosses actually. Now that I think of it, it is kind of similar to this Milani formula, but the Milani one has a bit of shimmer to it. This does not have any shimmer and the Milani one is slightly less sticky than this, but both amazing formulas in my opinion. This next product is definitely my newest purse lipstick edition. Um, this is the Bobbi Brown Art Stick. I recently purchased this during the Sephora VIP sale and this is the shade Bare. I have been loving this because it's basically like a giant crayon. So you just scribble it all over your lips and you can get a really precise application really, really quickly which I love. Another thing that I love about this and another thing I've been doing with this is it's a little bit more of an amped up lip color. So again, great for when you want a little bit more definition. Also, you can use it on the cheeks. So if you wanted to, you could just tap the lip color right here and just add a little bit to the cheeks if you feel like your blush is kind of fading and it's like a beautiful refresh for the lips and the cheeks, which I think is amazing. So it's kind of a two-in-one product that way. I love the formula. This is actually beautiful underneath the Bobbi Brown um, crush 
blushed oil infused glosses. I find myself doing this combo quite a bit, especially when I'm like on the go and I need something really quick to enhance the lips. But yeah, this is a really, really fun product. Again, something that's super easy to use. And I love the fact that it's kind of meant for the cheeks as well. So I've been getting a lot of use out of this. And I love the subtle sheen that it has. It's not a completely matte product, which gives a little bit more of a hydrated look to the lips. So yeah, I've really been enjoying this art stick from Bobbi Brown. Okay, so next up I have another tinted lip oil kind of a thing. This is the NARS Oil Infused Lip Tint. I can't even tell you how much I love this formula, you guys. It is so good. This is the shade Primal Instinct, but again, this is another one of those products where I own so many shades and I tried to just narrow it down to one for you guys. So this is like the most everyday kind of a shade. They have some that are like more berry tones or hot pink tones. If you're somebody who wants a little bit more color in your lips every day, these are so good. I can't tell you how many times I've been able to apply this all over my lips with no mirror and I just trust it. It just looks good. I can kind of slap it on the lips and I feel like it just gives the most beautiful effect to the lips. It also kind of tints them a little bit. So it wears off beautifully and you have a little bit of color left behind. Again, this is one that is not sticky at all, but you get such a high shine to it, which I really love. Mm, this is such a good formula. I love it so much, you guys. As soon as I received this formula, it, gosh, it's been a long time now, but as soon as I tried this out, it went straight into my purse and it seriously has not left. Okay, next up we have a tinted lip balm from Honest Beauty. I really love this. I actually couldn't find my top favorite shade. It's gotta still be in a purse somewhere. So this is like my second favorite. The first one that I would have recommended is called Summer Melon. So I'll have that link down below. This one is called Lychee Fruit. And and it's more of a nude. The Summer Melon shade has definitely more of a pop of color, but this one is great too for every day. And I really love this formula because it's a little bit of a thicker formula. So it really builds up over itself really nicely. It gives a little bit of a shine to the lips, but not overkill. I find it to be super hydrating and there is enough color in there to where it adds life to the face. So it's not just like a clear lip balm, but it feels exactly like just an average lip balm in the best way with a little bit of color. So if you're somebody who is a lip balm person, but you want a little bit of color, these are amazing from Honest Beauty. Okay, we have three left. This one right here is so good. This is from Tarte. Um, this is their tinted, I think it's a lip oil. Gosh, I don't remember what it's called, but this is the shade Fresh Pressed. This one tastes really good. I don't eat it, but you know, when you apply it on your lips, you can taste it usually, and it has a really nice flavor to it. This is just like a foolproof lip balm gloss hybrid type of thing. You really can't go wrong with this one. I feel like it smooths over my lip lines really nicely. It gives a nice shine. This is a little bit sticky, but not bad at all. Mm. No, I take that back. It's not really sticky, but I love this. This is also a formula that works really well over lipsticks. So I tend to layer it up over lipsticks when I need a refresh. I love this one though. It's just so good. The whole experience with like the smell and the formula and the packaging, it's just really fun. And it's also really easy to see in your purse. If you're somebody who has a lot of stuff in your purse, like I do, this bright kind of a silicone wrap on it really makes it easy to spot in the depths of your purse. So this is a really great one. All right, we've got two more. More. This is the Persona Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Shortcake. Hands down, my current favorite everyday gloss, like a solid gloss. This does have more color to it, so it's gonna look like you're wearing a little bit more, obviously. But on me, it's like my lips, but better. This is another one of those products where I own all the shades in the gloss formula. So honestly, I would recommend any shade that you're interested in because it's such a good hydrating, nourishing formula. But this one for me is hands down my favorite. I also do love the pink gloss though. Well. I kind of love them all, but if I had to pick one, I would definitely choose this color right here. Again, it's called Shortcake. It's just, ugh, I mean, look at it. I don't even have to say much. It's so pretty. Like I said before, this is formulated with really good ingredients. I think it has like avocado oil in it and stuff like that. So it's gonna really nourish the lips while giving you a nice glam kind of a look. So I do tend to wear this when I'm wearing a little bit more makeup, but it also works really well for every day when I have a makeup look like this that's kind of in between. I reach for this all the time because I feel like a little bit more color sometimes really helps pull together a makeup look if it's a little bit more on the glam side. So I reach for this in those situations mostly, but I do wear them on an everyday no makeup makeup kind of a day too. So point is, it's a really good formula and a really good color. Okay, this last one, I'm so glad I purchased. I was on the fence for a while about this one because of the price, honestly, it's from Chantecai, which is a very bougie brand. I haven't really tried too much from them, but this is making me want to try more. This is their lip balm, what's it called? Lip Chic but it's basically like a tinted lip balm 
Mm, like a glorified tinted lip balm. This is the shade Patience. It's the most gorgeous flattering color on me. I love it. I love the formula. This is another one of those, like I could apply it with my eyes closed kind of a products. And I love this one because of the formula. It's a little bit more of a rich formula, but in a really good way. And it glides over my lip lines and I feel like it makes my lip lines kind of disappear, which is nice. Some lip balms, I feel like if the formula isn't quite right, it can emphasize the lines on my lips. You know what I mean? Is that just me or do you guys experience that? This isn't like that for me. Even though it's a little bit of a lighter color, I just feel like it smooths my lips out so beautifully. This wears so well on the lips as well. It will stay on my lips for hours and then it wears off so beautifully. So yes, it is a little bit of a higher price tag, but for me, I've gotten so much use out of it. If I run out of this, I'm gonna repurchase it. And actually I have been looking into purchasing more colors. That's how much I love the formula, but I love this color so much too. It's just perfect. So anyway, that's the last color I have to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it would be really fun because I myself am very curious about all these things. So hopefully it was fun for you guys to hear about all the products that live in my purse because truly these are essentials to me. I know there's a lot of them, so hopefully it wasn't too overwhelming for you, but I will have them all listed and linked down below for you guys to make it a little bit easier to check them out if you're interested in a certain formula. Before you go, leave a comment letting me know what products live in your purse. What's your top lip product that lives in your purse. I would love to know, so be sure to comment that down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button, and if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. I would love to share with you like powders or other products that live in my purse. So let me know if you enjoyed this. I hope you guys stay safe and stay healthy wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.